What happens when a fund just can't recover? At what point do you realize it's time to move on? Today's a special day. Roundhill released RDTE. Dave Mazza is out doing interviews. Amy is happy. Who is this? We've named her Amy Roundhill, formerly known as Miss Roundhill. So, when do you get out? First of all, while we're talking about Roundhill, I have to put a congratulations out there. First, to recover from dividend. Recovered all my money after the ex-dividend date. Is XDTE in my portfolio? Congratulations, Miss Roundhill and XDTE. Everyone over at Dave's house is celebrating. Okay, there are other partners. I didn't even talk about Hershey yet, but they've been doing this for a while. How do I say they've recovered? Okay, well, I balanced my XDTE to exactly $70,000 before we went ex-dividend. And I was below that, just like all of them when we went go ex-dividend. And today, XDTE has gone over my pre-dividend number. So, it's like now, if I walked away, I got the dividends for free from this last X dividend. Do you understand? It recovered from the dividend. Very quick. Congratulations to XDTE. Next, when do we get out? And this is why you subscribe. Strategies over spreadsheets. Soon, I will open the private elite Discord for you. The Miley Coco is ready. My strategy, and we can talk about the Discord later. It comes at 6,000 subscribers. We're so close. So close, I can taste it. And it's ready for you. This is my paid crypto. Crypto, look at the testimonials. A hundred new ones since I was here the other day. Okay, my paid crypto only. Because that's what we do. We trade crypto. Okay, Discord. There are many rooms, the daily trade updates where, you know, I give you my briefings, what's going on, what to expect in real time. Imagine if you had a place like that for yield max. Well... It's ready, okay? And it's going to be great. We're going to be making the rooms, but I could have 6,000 subscribers. There's not going to be any memes. Any There she is, the beautiful Miley Coco. No memes, no nonsense. You'll be able to discuss your ideas, your portfolios. Most of all, you'll be able to have a direct connection with me. It's waiting. The ultimate Yield Max Discord group for free. Break the rules, we'll kick you out. Amzy. Doing good, coming back up. We will be recovered from dividend in about another 60 cents or so. Let's take a look at when things go bad. It starts off with a story of the day I lost $30,000. Yes, to a billionaire. Liquidated by a billionaire. Oracle versus Tesla. Now, let's go back. You've seen the price, right? So when we go back here, let's go to videos. There's lots of content here. I love making content for this channel. I love pointing out, okay, the fakes. I can break down every interview, okay, and tell you why you don't want to invest in that, okay, but we'll get down to that in a minute, except for Dave Mazza, okay, and Roundhill. So we scroll down to where I was liquidated by a billionaire. I'm going to tell you a story about when you should maybe... Think with your head instead of your heart. Maybe it's time to leave a fund, okay? Well, I've put a lot of content on this channel. So let me scroll back and find you the point I want to make. Look at the pumpkin clown YouTuber. Here we are. Okay, so Tesla had earnings. Okay, I remember. I didn't know if it was a slip in the matrix that day. But I'm going to show you something. Hold on. Tesla. At the market open, it opened down $130 to $130. At the market open, it spiked down. Okay, and I caught it on video. So I shorted. And I lost $30,000. 
I got liquidated by a billionaire, okay, for $30,000 because I shorted and they opened. Where is it? Hold on. Look. All right. Here were earnings and then Elon spoke and it moved. Look at the price, right? 144. This was four months ago. Here's the rub. Okay, so we look at Tesla four months ago. I was shocked. I don't follow the price of Tesla when I looked at the price of Tesla today. Wow. Since that day when I lost $30,000, I don't care. I made that back. It doesn't matter. Okay, that's why I laugh at all these YouTubers, right? This is what I used to do. One shot, one kill, options trading at the most critical, risky, dangerous time and game of all. Okay, trading for earnings. So anyway, and I leverage that. But the point is this. I was shocked when I looked today and seen Tesla at 226. I was also in shock when I seen Tesla at 1291. And so I went back, right? And I went back to when Tesla or Tesla was 142 in April, right? And since then, it's gone 226, that's epic. And then I looked at Tesla. You're not going to want to hear this. Okay. Back in April on the same day, it was $12.98. When Tesla was on 40, Tesla marched up. And Tesla has not moved. This is not good. Now, you could say the dividends make up. The dividends will make up a portion of it. But this kind of, let's say, a covered call strategy that's written this way in the prospectus has no chance. This is a dire warning and lesson to all of us. Even if I see this happen to AMSI, I will be forced to leave. I'm seeing a direct correlation. Tell me in the comments, does this make sense to you? I lose $30,000. Learn a lesson. It's okay. No big deal. The price is 144 is the point. I looked at the price, 226 Wow. But this fund either is not being managed properly or something is wrong. So what is this, the lesson here in this video? The lesson is, if something is going down a lot, no matter how much you love it, no matter how much you want it to come back, no matter how much you vested in it, every reinvestment you made was throwing money in the garbage. According to this, you have no chance. What do you need, Tesla to go to $400, $600 for you to go back to... I mean, to something, $17, all the money people paid for this. People got into this, Not some people say because it was brand new. A lot of people got into it because of an emotional issue. And that's what we're really here to talk about today. If you like this content, this is strategies over spreadsheets. Any idiot could read you a prospectus, okay, or do a fluff interview. But when it comes down to looking at things with an unbiased eye, this can save many of us. NVIDIA people, I'm talking to you. Coney, talking to you. When a trend has passed by in the moment or a stock, the underlier, is heavily damaged, the underlier can come back. This is all Elon Musk dependent, unlike Amzi and Amazon. We don't care about what Jeff Bezos is doing. He doesn't mean anything to us. This is tied to almost a cult-like figure that people love. And people love this. And this is why I say, with every one of these funds, you have to have a strategy. Like me going in with a certain amount of money and then ripping off the top if I want to buy back in, okay, and reinvest strategically on massive down days like when we seen in the beginning of August when the NASDAQ was down 
1,800 points the two days in a row after AMZ Amazon earnings? Of course we got knocked down. But I'll tell you, if I ever see something like this happen again, it didn't happen to me. But if I see it happening, I leave. I don't ride a horse into the ground. I don't even know what kind of analogy to give you. But you have to really think with an open heart and mind. Okay? This, yeah, Tesla, you're right, came back. 100%, look, came back in the last four months. But what happened to Tesla? I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there being the guy adding up all the dividends and showing you a total return and saying that I got 20 years and this and that because in 20 years it's going to reverse split again. So we got to watch what we're in closely and we have to have no feelings. This is not a romance novel. This is your money. I laugh when I hear people buy Starbucks stock because they like the coffee. They think it's a good business. They see lines and they buy the stock. You know what you are? Sheep. You're stupid. You're the vulnerable that Wall Street takes advantage of. We don't buy what we love. Actually, we buy what we love, but we invest in what makes money. I like everything I'm holding right now. It is temporary. Love an XDTE, okay? I'm going to skip the RDTE for now. Let's see how you guys do. I'm sure it'll have jacked returns in the beginning to help people get in. You know, it's going to look great. Some pounds, some wicked returns. That's all, you know, that can be, uh, that's a good marketing tool, all right? That's a page right out of crypto. Ulti is a floater, okay? I don't know about Ulti. I'm going to see how it pays out. All I care about is, number one, increasing the core value of my portfolio, and number two, massive monthly income. They go hand in hand. If something is losing money, I do not believe in putting more money into it. I will give you the fruit store analogy. You walk into a fruit store and you say, hey, where do you keep the rotten fruit? Stuff nobody wants. I want to buy that. You think you're a little stupid. Come over here. Look at the fresh fruit. Okay, what's in season? What's in season right now? AI is not in season right now, and Bitcoin is not in season right now. I'm sorry. But the lesson of this entire video is a dire lesson to be learned. With the current yield max pers prospectus in what we call... I, I'm going to come up with a name for this. Okay. The prehistoric funds, the pioneers, the first out of the box, maybe the prospectuses were written in a way that limited them. Maybe they need to be changed. Maybe the new prospectuses and the new strategies and the new things that Jay is looking at will make better funds. Something like this situation I know you may love Tesla. I'm not going to give you advice, but it ain't looking good. I mean, you better hope this shit goes to a thousand. That's like saying that you want to see Kathy Woods in a bikini or worse. You wanted to have an OnlyFans. I don't know. I'm just looking at this straight up numbers and comparing a couple of months ago. That's what made me realize. Right? When I, sh I was shorted Tesla, he came out and he blew out storytelling about AI and masturbating robots and everything. The optimist, the guy in the suit was going to go crazy. Okay, They had blowout earnings. Okay, They didn't have really blowout earnings, but blowout storytelling. And so we were at 144. I want you to look. We're at 226. Great job. Tesla. Doesn't look good, bro. I think that's all I have to say today. Let's take our early look at the pre-markets for tomorrow. It's very, ooh, it's very early. Um, it's about 7 p.m. And um, I make these videos because I like them. Most of all, I like to see your reactions and to read your comments. This is my temporary portfolio paying me $20,000 a month. My holding costs are about $2,800 um, a month. But they actually have gone down because for the first time ever, I have buying power, okay? I didn't spend my dividends, and I don't plan on buying anything. 
Who died? That's sixty thousand dollars in buying power. Now, to me, normally, that's a waste, a waste of buying power. But it's building up every week when Round Hill pays me, and every month when Yield Max pays me. All oh, that twenty thousand dollars drips down to the bottom here. Reducing my daily interest costs, protecting me from a margin call with every dividend payment made. It's certainly epic. I do not reinvest. And don't I do not walk in the store and ask for the rotten fruit. I hope this stimulated thought. Okay, I was going to goof on this clown, the orange shirt. I gave him the most views he ever got, this bozo clown ass sniffer. Have a nice